Texans isolated inside of their homes are still finding a way to help health care workers in the fight against COVID-19. It's that spirit of North Texans helping others that has caught our attention. CBS 11's J.D. Miles shares their story with us. Used to be a hobby. My mom taught me to sew when I was a little girl. A needle, thread, and fabric are rarely tools of a real estate attorney. But Shelly Nickel found her lifelong skills as a seamstress have become valuable. Well, anybody with basic sewing skills um, can put these together. While stuck in her South Lake home with her job on hold. And, you know, everybody wants to do something to help. And I'm not connected to help the restaurant industry or anybody else, but I know how to sew. Nichols decided to start sewing cloth masks for use by healthcare workers who don't have enough respirators that can protect them while dealing with COVID-19 patients. It's got to be terrifying to be out there knowing that every second that you are exposed to person after person after person. These homemade masks could be used to cover respirators or used alone by healthcare workers and first responders who currently have no protection. Just this morning, a Dallas City Council member posted a plea for masks to protect police officers. Nickel is one of many North Texans with sewing skills helping to relieve the mask shortage. In just three days, she's already made more than two dozen for area health care workers. Nickel's husband contacted someone with connections in health care who is helping distribute them. My hope is we can get as many of these masks out to the first responders and, and medical personnel. And so he contacted me last night and said, if we make masks, can you get them to the right people? And so I started making the phone calls this morning. Cindy Mask says she's willing to help others like Nickel get the mask to hospitals, first responders, and senior centers. It's making this attorney's time spent at home waiting for business still rewarding. In Southlake, JD Miles, CBS 11 News.